Good morning. I hope you're at wool. It's a wet morning. It just rained all night long. Uh, but good morning. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Trat, Thailand. And this is day five of our eastern provinces of Thailand food and travel tour. Today we are going to be in Trat, the town. Uh, we're going to be exploring the food. And so we're going to go on a food tour. And I'm going to share all the food with you today. This is a great market. You'll find, it's a really friendly market. You'll find some very unique ingredients that are specific to this region, to, the, to Trat. Um, there's lots of seafood. There's some giant fish. Uh, people are, are very friendly here. It's not that busy. It has a, it, it, it has a calm feel to it. To be honest, the morning market is a great place to walk around and to get a feel for Trat and the ingredients that are available. But there's really not much going on in terms of pre-cooked food to eat. So we've decided to go check out, it's just down the road, a place that's known for its noodles and rice uh, with a variety of seafood. The restaurant is located just behind the market. Uh, but you know, we're starting to get into the charming old wooden houses, the, the heritage area of Trat. It's a classic, old school, legendary restaurant in Trat. And they have both all sorts of different types of noodles that you can order, as well as different uh, toppings on rice. But specifically seafood, especially crab, and especially gang, which is mantis prawns. And so since I've already actually in Jantaburi, I had a couple bowls of mantis prawns with noodles. I decided to try a couple rice dishes here. This is one of those restaurants in Thailand that is not only a restaurant, but it's a museum. So if you look around, there are photos of uh, famous people along the walls. It's completely decked out in decoration. And I ordered a couple of different unique dishes. The first dish that we have to begin with is called Prikinu Bukai. And these are crab eggs, so female crab eggs, uh, stir fried with chilies and I think garlic. Um, and there's some fish sauce and chilies on the side. But just look, look at that. That looks potently delicious. Mm -hmm. The crab eggs are like yolk, egg yolk, but more, more starchy, more condensed. That's definitely a unique dish and very tasty. Another dish that I'm very looking forward to trying. This one is pad gapao with gang, and pad gapao is stir fried holy basil. You can get your choice of meat. This one though is with mantis prawns. So you can see these are mantis prawns. She added in garlic, she added in some onions, she added in banana peppers. I've had kapao in almost every variation, but this will be a first for me with mantis prawns. Hey, you've got those mantis prawns. They're like crayfish. They're similar to shrimp. Um, then you've got that holy basil. You've got the chilies in there. Mm, that's salty, a balance of sweetness, and then just that shrimpiness. All right, that was pretty decently good. Uh, definitely some unique versions of Pad Gapao, but they also have a full noodle selection with a mix of seafood. That's worth a stop. So it's a pretty legendary place to eat in Trat. Now, if you ask any local in Trat, which is one of the best places to eat, Many will recommend this one Khao Kang restaurant, which is rice and curry, uh, which is located at a gas station, a petrol station. The spot it's located behind the shell gas station i didn't know this at first but it's kaokeng santung and santung is a is a small town that we passed through driving from chantaburi to trat it's in trat but they're known for their food uh they it's like one of those cities that everybody knows has spicy curries <laughs> like, <laughs> 
นกควักอะไรครับนี่เป็นหนึ่งในร้านที่ง่ายที่สุดเราจะเริ่มต้นในการพูดและเริ่มต้นในการเลือกและก่อนที่จะรู้ว่าคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมีเตียงแล้วคุณมี Usually a bunch of different curries, but uh, all sorts of variety of different dishes. This one is some type of bird. Um, she called it n o k b a k or something like that. And I think this is the bird one. Yeah, you can see those chili seeds in there. Oh, that looks masterful. Oh, what a dish. Yeah, uh, that one has a little bit of heat to it. It's some type of bird that you can eat all the bones, so you can crunch right through the bones. I mean. They do have quite a crunch to them, and you better chew them well. But you can eat all of the bones. Um, it's almost like the meat is almost like duck tasting. This one is geng som, which is uh, sour curry, which is made all over Thailand, but very different in many different places. This, there's fish in here, um, and lots of pineapple. It almost looks like a tomato sauce, but that's chili. Some of the dishes can be on the sweet side, in t r a t generally speaking. But what I love. Is sweet dishes, well, sweet and spicy dishes that are sweetened with fruit, like pineapple. That gives it a, I mean, that fruity sweetness. The pineapple comes in here so nicely, but it's salty at the same time. There's chilies in there, so it's a little spicy. Moving right down the line, I think this one is the m u p a which is a jungle pig, a wild boar, uh, fried with uh, a similar curry paste. All the seeds in there, the kaffir lime leaves. Mm. Oh, what I can taste that's different in that is the black pepper. Oh, there's a lot of black pepper going on in there. I just went up to the front. I asked them what the dishes are stir fried. There's, there, it's, they're all included with the most of the curry dishes, and they said they're all na sapalot, which is the the pineapple crown. Very common ingredient that you will find throughout the rat. It always goes with spicy curries, and it goes so well because it has this amazing. Crunch that's similar to bamboo shoots, but at the same time it has a little more of an acidic flavor. Well, what an ingredient! And that brings us directly to our next dish, which this is probably my favorite dish of t h a t Geng k w a n g which is a deer curry again with na saparot, the the pineapple shoots. When you have that many chili seeds per bite, plus the pineapple crown, plus deer, uh, you, there's just no way it cannot be a flavor explosion in your mouth. What a dish! What a dish! Oh, that's ultimate. That's so unbelievably good. It's spicy. It's it's balanced in flavor. There's a little bit of citrusy acidicness in there, and that meat is very very tender. That deer is. Um, it, it, it's tender. It's delicious. It's absolutely sensational. Okay, final dish is the mu cham wang. And c h a m u o n g are the leaves. This is a very popular dish in this region of Thailand. It's always a very sweet dish. Usually, a little too sweet for me. It's good, but it does have that real sweet and sour flavor to it. The pork is tender. I do love the leaves, though. It's like one of those leaves that that remains. That holds its shape and remains crunchy even if you cook it for a long time. But yeah, for me, it just doesn't quite compare to all those spicier curries. Yeah, everything is good, but definitely the deer and the bird. Those are those are my two favorite dishes. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna double back for some of that bird. That's awesome. And that crunch of the bones. Oh, that was just one of those utterly satisfying meals in Thailand. This is a gas station that you're gonna want to come to, not to fill up your car, 
but to fill up your stomach and it, you're gonna experience ultimate satisfaction. That was so good. My, my mouth is still tingling from all those flavors and those chilies. From here, we're gonna walk around and just explore a little bit of the downtown Old Town area of Prat. And then later on this evening for dinner, we have a big seafood feast coming up. After that much good food, I need to walk around a little bit. I made it to Wat Pai Lom, and this is the central Buddhist uh, temple of Trat town. And you enter, there's quite a lot of roosters running around. It is quite a unique stupa structure, uh, like unlike anything I've seen in Thailand. But I think the real beauty, I think, I think it's actually closed right now, I can't get in, but the real beauty around here are the gardens. Quiet, you can hear the birds chirping, all sorts of different birds, there are flowers. I'm gonna move on to the Trat History Museum now. For sure, one of the architectural masterpieces and uh, buildings of preservation is the Trat History Museum. And it's housed in the old city hall. It's a beautifully restored wooden building. Ta-da, half a hundred islands, precious rubies. Sweet Salakas, high quality Ridgeback Dogs, Gok Chang, Naval Battle. It's the very eastern side of Thailand. I was the only one at the museum and it's, it's really nicely done actually. Really nice and quiet. It walks you through the history of Trat all the way from the natural resources uh, to when the Chinese came and when it was an important, very important seaport and trade center. And the building itself is a highlight. It's worth checking out on its own. Everything is located pretty close within Trat, but just down the road from the museum is the Rak Klong Bang Pra community, uh, which is one of the old uh, canal side communities. I'm just gonna take a little stroll through here and see what we can find. There are old houses there. Now, now there are lots of guest houses. There are some cafes. It's a pretty, pretty peaceful area. And within the community, one of the things I wanted to check out is this walkway along the canal. It's pretty cool. You can walk along the waterway and it gives you a different perspective on the community. Uh, you can see the, the houses, you can see the, the jungle growth and it's so unique and so peaceful. Looks like it's gonna rain this afternoon, so I'm gonna go back to the hotel, stay for a few hours, rest this afternoon, and, and rest for the seafood dinner that's coming up. There was a nice rainstorm this afternoon, and we had a nice rest back at the hotel. Now it's cleared up. It's the late afternoon. We're on our way to a seafood restaurant, and it's about a 25 minute drive away. was about a 25 minute drive but it was a gorgeous ride it was it, it's so lush here and we followed the signs towards Lam Sok but this is Lam Tien which is a cape uh, south of Prat town and this looks like a little fishing community the Lung who owns the restaurant he he literally walked out of the restaurant to come meet us at our car and this, yeah, this is gonna be outstanding. This is the next level of laid back seafood family restaurant. He has all of the seafood live in swimming pool tanks. He was showing us the mantis shrimp which are, I mean, they look like aliens. They look like a combination of a praying mantis and a massive prawn, massive shrimp. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna have some alien mantis shrimp tonight. The main dining room section is upstairs, so you have a view of the ocean. Wow, this is a, this is a beautiful home seafood restaurant. I am like crank. I crank. I crank. Yeah. 
จะได้หลังให้ให้กล้องได้ไหมครับเอออย่างนี้สวยเออใช่ครับว้าวลงสูงติชูนิ้วโป้งแล้วทำลุงเยี่ยมสุดยอดสุดยอด so we told uncle just to hook us up with a set menu and so he is like shopping at an aquarium for us just with baskets gathering seafood ปลาเต๋าก็ปลาเต๋าต้มยำแล้วก็ทอด Ying and I are not eating this seafood feast alone. We are hanging out with yeah, Mew, Ah, and Sat, and they are from, as you can see, their T-shirts, Kong Gin Mueang Trat. Yeah, yeah. Which means like what to eat, the the food in Trat. And so they have Facebook. They blog about food in Trat. And so it's going to be an honor to hang out with them and eat this seafood feast tonight. We are getting special permission from the chef and owner, the Lung, the uncle himself, to come back in the kitchen. I mean, everything's incredibly fresh. Everything's going to be awesome. But those mantis alien shrimp, wow. Oh, I need to do it. Okay. They took all of that fresh seafood. They put it into a giant wok of bubbling water. So that's the first step is just boiling it, especially the crab and the... Those things are huge. ก่อนทำอาหารก็ต้องตัดก่อนน้ำตาลกระทะน้ำมันเลย He's just trimming them up right now, cutting out. Those are some really, really sharp tentacles and claws that they have. Mantis shrimp goes straight into the hot oil, and they're gonna deep fry, and then they're gonna combine it with garlic. Most of the dishes are ready. I'm running back up to the table. It's time to start eating. By the way, do not get too excited and hit your head. Well, like that. Do not hit your head. That, that could hurt really bad. Oh. <laughs> It's almost time to eat, but Ming is actually cracking the crab and preparing it for us. Oh, amazing service! He, he's he's absolutely awesome. This seafood looks, we got like the biggest of all types of seafood that I've ever seen. Show us how to, mm -hmm. how to open the gut. I'm gonna grab one of these gigantic, seriously extraterrestrial. Like, look at that amount of garlic on top too. The best. It is like armor. It's like a shrimp, but way harder. It almost feels like plastic. Oh, look at all that flesh underneath there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's like a muscle. Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, wow. Wow. Lucky man. Lucky oh, man. The lucky, <laughs> the lucky one with all the eggs in it. It's just insane. It's like shrimp, but it's more juicy, more tender, more sweet. It almost is, it almost tastes like crab. A cross between shrimp and crab. And you can also really taste that garlic on there too. And, uh, it's absolute insanity. Oh, I'm off. No more talking. Time to eat. This is one thing. Once you pick it up and start eating, you you can't. Stop you will not. You will not set it back down. That was one of the greatest things I think I've ever eaten in my entire life. It's time to move on to the gigantic shrimp, and there should be some some tamale in there. Some seared. 
awesome. Oh, look at all those juices. Okay, we will we will save this head. Oh man, look at that. Wow. Wow. If you were to spread this out, it's curled right now. It would definitely be as long, as tall as my face. <laughs> and for this, we are all gonna dip into that sauce. That chili. Oh. Crazy good. It's so ridiculously muscular and firm and sweet. It's insane. I'm gonna grab a little bit of a chili action. I'm gonna put this right, right onto that. Oh, that's gonna be the ultimate bite. I've already taken one bite, but you can like, you can balance things on it, it's so big. Oh. Wow. How do I mock? Okay, we're moving in for the crab. We're going for those claws first. Peeled perfectly. I and the owner, Loom, he peeled them for us. It, it doesn't get better <laughs> if you get giant crab that's peeled for you. Okay, okay. So two, two bites. The first bite, no, no sauce. The second bite, we'll dip. Candy bar. It's like a candy bar. Next bite. Seafood sauce. There's nothing better you can put in your mouth. <laughs> Next up for the hoi krang, which are the blood cockles, and these are these are by far the biggest blood cockles I've ever seen in my life. Oh, that's amazing too. Oh, you can taste the salt water in them. It almost has an oyster texture, but mm. wow, those, those are succulent, crazy succulent. Okay, and you've got to eat this with the numjim seafood. Yeah, it's definitely better with the seafood sauce. Um, I mean that that that, that kind of masks like the fishiness of it. And, and that just burns your lips going down. Okay, so it's called kapad pu, which is uh, fried rice with crab. And it, it's just loaded with crab. You gotta add some piknam pla, which is fish sauce and chilies to that. It's absolutely insane. That's, that's like the best type of fried rice you could possibly eat. It's loaded with crab. It's like equal portions of crab and rice in that. Next up for that grouper, that fresh grouper. What he, they made two dishes out of it. One is a soup um, that they made with the head. And then the other they deep fried, the tail they deep fried and put on some kind of a sweet chili sauce on it. I got the soup here. Let's try that fish. It, that fish does not get any fresher than that. It's, it would be impossible. Look at how that just flakes apart. I think it's thom som. Lots of lemongrass in there. It's nice and sour. That fish is unbelievably firm. I think this is the final dish, which is the, the fried grouper uh, with sauce, and there's also some pickled shallots. Oh, spectacular as well. Mm, mm, there's shallots. Mm. Pickled shallots, the fresh fish, it's crunchy. It, everything is insanely good. For sure one of the most spectacular seafood meals I've ever had in my life. I'm on my way to go wash my hands and you've got to check out the sinks. The sinks are on this balcony outside and it just kind of goes off the ledge here. Oh, I think that's the kitchen down there. And then you've got a, the soaps right here. Be careful not to knock the soaps off the ledge, which could very easily happen. Or, oh, there's a random crab claw 
squeezer right there on a mallet. <laughs> you don't want to bump that off the wall, that's for sure. Great hand washing facility. Oh, I love it. Perfect. I can't even find my shoes. There's, well, for one thing, there's a lot of people eating now, but I am definitely under the influence of that seafood. It just looks like a blur of shoes to me. <laughs> it was a, an absolutely spectacular seafood feast, and there's nothing better than eating with friends. And again, Kongin Mung Trat. That's their, their Facebook page. I'll have the links in the description box. Check them out. They're, they're just cool. They're, they're fun to eat with. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Again, I want to say a huge thank you to Kun Miu um, and his friends for joining us for dinner. And this is their, their favorite seafood restaurant for them showing us this spot. Uh, and again, they are from Kong Gin Meung Trat. I'll leave their links in the description box below. But this is such an unassuming restaurant. I mean, it looks like a shed from the outside. The Lung, the uncle here, he is, he, he's, an amazing man. He serves up fresh seafood. The total bill for everything that we ate, all of that gigantic seafood was 3,300 baht, uh, which uh, seriously anywhere else in Thailand that you eat that amount of seafood and that quality of seafood, it's gonna be double the price. Uh, that uh, really a great value incredibly fresh, incredibly delicious the way they cooked it. That was one of the better seafood meals of my life right here in Trat, a beautiful location. I love it. It's like you're eating in his home. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and click the little bell icon so that you get notified of all future videos that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Trat. I will see you on the next video.